It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. What is up guys? It is a beautiful day on the coast today. I'm here with my buddy Ian. You've seen him in a few videos. We are doing some jetty fishing. Got my jetty rod. Um, I'm gonna try some swim bait fishing, see if I can get something for the first time on the swim bait. And then we're just gonna be using some regular shrimp and a high-low rig to maybe get some greenling, hopefully take some fish back. But last year, this time last year, right in this spot, I almost lost my life and almost lost the camera, lost everything. So take a look at what happened. I haven't shown anyone this, but damn, was that scary. So yeah, that is exactly why you need to pay attention to what's going on out here. It is, it's unforgiving, especially these rocks are slippery, waves are crashing, you don't know what's coming at you. If you are new to the channel, welcome. We do a lot of this kind of stuff. We do jetty fishing, surf fishing, sturgeon fishing. We go all over the place. So if you want to be a part of this community, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, enjoy the show. Man, the conditions look so good right now. I wanna get out here before it changes. It's perfect high tide right now. All right, this is where we're setting up camp. So I'm gonna hurry and get rigged up. First cast, new rod. Getting bird, dude, it's so funny. All right, guys, left my GoPro over there. And first cast in the spot, and I hooked up, so I'm coming back. That was a gorgeous greenling, but he got off, unfortunately. Let's see if there's another one in there. Got him. Oh, dude, this... It's a big fish, dude. Oh no, it's a big greenling, but that thing ran. Dude, this thing's huge, holy shit. Holy crap, dude. That guy's, oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh, you caught him. I got him, I got him. All right, got him, let's go. Yep. Yeah, you need a cast here, dude, there's a few. Look at that freaking greenling, man or kelp greenling. Dude, that's one of the bigger ones I've caught. Ian's on as well, so let's go help him out. Is he still on? I think so. Here, let me see it real quick. If... Swap it. I can't over this rock. I can't even pull the line from here. All right, keep an eye on those swells for me real quick. Oh, got him. I got him. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> it's blue mouth. Is that not a cab? It's no, it's a, it's, still it's a kelp greenling, yeah. Okay, we'll get it here. <laughs> nice. I just, I just wrenched on it. Dude, I knew, <laughs> I'm so mad if the drag, I had him like that close. Yeah. Like I'm telling you that close. He was probably just. I, I just ripped on it and then. He was probably just freaking stuck there. Jammed. Look how barely hooked. 
I mean, I got him right away. I literally felt this tug. I'm like, oh, dude, the hook just came out. Okay. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. And we're not too far from our stuff either. Oh, I can't believe we saved that fish. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it's the one you were chasing too. All right. Here, I'll just, I'll knock him out real quick. It's fine. Okay. I'm sorry. He's out. All right, guys, Ian and I both hooked up. Same spot. Look at that kelp green wing. It's even get its mouth. That blue mouth. It's been eating well. Hold them up. Let's get those spots. Gorgeous fish. Good fight, too, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, we had them stuck. Scared. <laughs> Scared me. And then I got this kelp green wing. Oh, good day so far. We're going to get back out there. All right guys, so what we're doing here, how I fish the jetty, I just kind of cast it out, and I lift my rod up and down until I'm feeling bottom. And if you get stuck like this, just kind of bob it up and down. Let that weight jiggle your setup free. You'll be sitting on a top of a rock and you want to bounce it so you can get deeper inside that, in between those rocks, because that's where those fish are at. So like that. So now that I'm inside that rock, I'm gonna just bounce it up and down, try to get a bite. Keep my line tight, just keep bouncing it, see if I can get deeper down in there. Little, little line out, see if I can get a little deeper in. Just bounce it up and down, get that weight to wiggle your whole setup down in between those rocks. And you'll feel the water move your weight and bump it against rocks, but when you get bit, you'll know be a hard tug instead of a slow pole. This is what I mean for fishing with bait on the jetty. As you see down here, oh, there's all these holes, that's where you're trying to get down into. Yeah, those fish are going to be sitting in these deep holes between these big rocks, so that's where you're trying to get. Get your bait right in front of their face. and then you rip into them and you pull them up as quickly as you can. Oh my God, dude, this guy is... F no, it's a regular kelp. He's smaller, but he'll do. Like that. That's how it's done. All right, I'm gonna put on a swim bait. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I land or if I hook into one though. You just have to try to yank it up. Alright guys, leaving Ian for a second. To move to the tip of the jetty. Onto the more open ocean side to see if I can get lean cod on this swim bait. Look at all this poop guy. It's so gross. So many seagulls shit out here. Just gonna keep an eye out for these waves. Man, isn't this freaking beautiful out here. I love the coast, man. If you haven't fished the ocean, man, I recommend it. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm on! Oh my god, I'm on! 
instantly, oh my God. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God, I got a freaking fish. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's heavy, dude. What is this? I don't know how I'm gonna land this. Oh, it's a cabbie. It's a cabbie. Up on these rocks. It's a cabazon. All right, I gotta be careful here, guys. I don't know what to do here. All right, I need to get him. Oh, it's a good cabbie. All right, I don't know what to do with this. This is scary. This is not cool. No, nope, not, not testing the freaking mighty ocean for a damn YouTube video. I'm getting him up right here, I can flip him. But I just can't lift him, he's too heavy. No, it broke off! No! That sucked, man. Well guys, I did have a cabazon on. <laughs> I lost. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Damn it. Son of a bitch, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I don't know if you guys could see that, but he was on. Well, that really sucks. So hopefully you guys could see that fish, but man, I could, he was right on the rocks and I just could not, could not hoist him up. But I think Ian and I are gonna call it on that. Got three cab or three uh, greenling and hooked in that cabazon. I don't know if I count it because I didn't uh, didn't land it, but man, it's been a beautiful day out here. If you guys never fished the coast, jetty fishing is the way to go, but be very careful. I've been hit by waves. I've slipped. I've done a lot of uh, a lot of things you don't want to do out here. But anyway, I'm just gonna go over the gear we use real quick, and then I'm gonna sign off. The rod I was using today was a Sandy M fishing rod. This is gonna be my surf rod, but it's all I had. It's a 10 foot eight. It's actually really good for out here because you can, you wanna horse those fish out of the rocks as soon as possible. So this held up really well. And I got a Fluger President with a 50 pound braid. And I was using 20 pound leader. With the swim bait, I was just using straight braid, but. And we we're using shrimp as bait and we we're using a high-low rig with two size four bait holder Eagle Claw hooks and a two ounce disc weight so that's perfect it gets you in between those rocks and it doesn't get you lodged up so you can get at super far into those rock holes and pull out some of those greenling and whatever else is sitting in there but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was nice having a successful day of jetty fishing it's been a while last time i was here i got hit right in this spot by probably a five foot wave and that was pretty some pretty scary stuff so it's nice to be out here and take some fish home, but um, I'll see you guys on the next video. We're going to do some surf fishing, so look out for that next week. So I hope to catch you and some fish in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Peace out. Like the cool blue light. Like the cool blue light. Like the cool blue light.